Welcome to Dan's Scared Garage. If you own a Ford with a 4.0 six cylinder in it, you know about the thermostats. They are trouble. Damn by. It's got a 4.0 V6 in it. I know, I know the whole thing of blah, blah, blah V8, but I needed a dependable engine because this is my regular daily driver. It's got well over 200,000 miles on it now. And this 4.0 V6 is a tank, there's one exception. And that is the thermostat housing. Thermostat housing on these things are junk. So let's set my lights up because uh, clouds. Today is a sunny, sunny day. The weatherman said so all day and it hadn't been the sun shining once. But it'd be nice, wouldn't it be nice to have a job where if you were wrong most of the time, you didn't get fired? Wow. Anyway, here's what we got. If you look down in here, let's see, trying to find it. This is a small screen that I'm looking on. Yeah, right here, this is the thermostat housing that I'm talking about. And that thing goes bad. So we gotta take all this stuff off of here and take that off and get down to it. So let's get at it. Well, first thing I gotta do is take off this uh, um, cold air intake here. So this little thing comes up. I'm just showing you, but because I'm here carefully, don't wanna break it. And then this will slide off. That's your um, mass airflow sensor. And I'm gonna pop this off here. This here. I'll get that off and I want to take this off. This is kind of broken. It works, but the clip could be better. I can move this clip like this and still be able to get this off of there and still be able to clip it back on, which is nice. So this is goes, this is part of the PVC system. I'm just gonna let that right there. Now should be able to lift this out of here, twist that a little bit, and see ya. Oh, that was, I was like, what the hell did I fall out of that? It was just the hose clamp. And it went. Yeah, good question. I kind of need to find that. I kind of need it. Let's see, I think that's it right there. Looks nasty. <laughs> oh, well. Put it right here so I can forget where it is. Uh, okay, so now, next thing we need to do is, this is your throttle body, and this is your throttle position sensor. Same thing when we pull that off, I'm trying to remember how this works. I think I slide this red one a little bit. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it slides like that. And then, it should pretty much come right off. Don't force this stuff. You know, Ford and their sensors and crap. Things break so easily. Um, ah, I know that comes off of there. There it goes. This took a minute. Hard to go and click, 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 so who knows what I broke. <laughs> All right. Now I gotta take this off. You can't get to that without taking everything off. What a mess. Okay. Got my handy dandy little magnet tray here to catch bolts. See what heck size this is. I know it's not this size. Pop that one back on there. And it's going to be a metric, I'm sure. No. No. And I'm using, and I'm looking at the Merkin sockets, not the metrics at all. The blue ones are metric. I'm off of there, you. Ah. It fits like, sort of like a glove. Yeah, that's it. So, what we got here? The Emphysimus 10, of course. 
Should have gone right there in the first place. Should have known it was a 10. All right, we'll get rid of this one here. It's been a minute since I had to do this. They're a little tight. They should come right out. And there. All right, now we can get this out of here. Ugh. Be careful, I just realized something. Uh, yeah, there's washers on these. Should have noticed it before. So make sure you don't drop your washer when you pull the bolt off, especially when I wasn't looking at the darn thing. You got your washer right there. You don't want to lose that. Down in the magnet tray. All right. And that all comes right off like that. Uh, backside of that looks nasty. Oh my goodness. And we're gonna clean that up, definitely. Oh my. That, and take this off so we make sure we don't lose it. Right there. All right, once that's off, then you can get to all this stuff here. This one's a little tricky, you need a wrench, but yeah, it, it, well, actually, I don't think you even need to do that one. All right, let's take a look. Before we do anything else, we got to take these pain in the butt um, clamps off so we can get these hoses off. And they usually like to fight you. There, that one's got to clip you, clip it like that. That one works pretty well. Here's that. See if we can't work this hose off a little bit. There we go. And we can get rid of this one here. There's a little bit of water in the system, but not much. Okay, this one down here is a real joy. We might fool with that after we get this off a little bit. I think it'll be easier. I don't think that one clips itself open like the other one. Nope. Ouch. My finger when the things came together. And there's one more back here. Yeah, there's another wire on that. I just set it aside. Give me this here. Put that up there. All right. This one here. Will hopefully cooperate. Can't see down in there. Like this here. Come on you. Smart man would have put that on over this way here so that it would be easy to get off. Especially knowing that these stupid things are going to go. They always do. There we go. All right, got rid of that. Let's see if we can get this off. Yep, that's coming off. Right there. Get rid of that one. Now that's sort of out of the way. Right there. Now it's out of the way. All right. We need 
this, this, and this. I'm not sure if you can see them from that side. All right, million dollar question. Are those 10 millimeters? They don't look like it, and they're probably not. No one Ford. <laughs> no one Ford. <laughs> they're not. So we're gonna pop this off of here. Hold on to it. I'm gonna need it. And uh, let's get this other plug out of here first. This one here, this has got the push button type connector which should come off pretty easy should famous last words there it goes matter of fact i think the push button's broke no it actually worked i'll put you right here I'm trying to make sure i keep stuff out the way oh now in in there okay what are we up against Never the first time. All right, that bolt is an eight millimeter. Oh, we got three of them here. Come here. And actually, that's a, too much of an angle for me. I want to make sure it's all the way on because I don't want to break them. There we go. That will come off. There's that over there. Let's take that off. Take that off. So while I'm breaking these loose, at least I should be flat on them. That way, all we want them don't round them off. You don't want to round these stupid things off, that's for sure. You know, in there, you. Mm, that one is tight. Look how tight it is. Go in there. Yeah, okay, it came. Good. Hoping not to snap bolts, you know what I'm saying? All right, should be able to get that one out of there. Yeah, it wants to be difficult. Let me break the other one loose. There. And that one came. Okay, good. little angle as long as it's not tight I can do this that one wants to be a pain in the butt gotcha there there we go These have a wide head on them, so they don't actually have washers. Don't worry about that. Put that right there. Should be able to lift this out of here. In there, some antifreeze, but not much. Going. I gotta get that hose off the bottom. Here. Now I can get it off. I'm off there, you. It doesn't like to come out of this hole. I know that. There, like that. Gotta keep twisting it until it goes the right way. Oh. 
know what's stopping me. Darn sensor. Okay, sensor can be a pain. You don't want to lose that clip. I'm going to put this and put screwdriver right in there. And I'm going to put my finger right here because I don't want to lose that clip. I'm just going to pull that clip out like that. There. And right there. Hopefully there's another one in the new one, but I'm going to put that there. Now I'll pull that sensor out of there. Just like that. And there's your temperature sensor. I'll put that there. Now let's see what we can do. And now uh, this in the way. It comes there, there, and there we go. Okay. And there we have it. So this is the weak link in the whole system. The engine is, like I said, it's over 200,000 miles when it runs like a top. And that's because the, the 4.0 six cylinder is a really good engine. But these are the weak link. This here is a gasket that goes in here like this. It's a flat gasket. Um, we're just gonna pull it out. There's a new one with the kit. Come out of there. Well, you don't want to come out, so I don't care. So someone in the Ford engineering department said, I have an idea. We have something we got to put on this engine that's going to have heat from engine heat going through it, and it's going to have pressure on it. So why don't we do this? We'll make it plastic and we'll glue it together. It'll hold, famous last words. I'm guessing the guy didn't get fired, but he sure should have had. So here's what happens. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Um, where are you? Where are you? Somewhere here, this thing is splitting. Right along here. There we go. Yep, just went straight in there. So that goes in there. That is no longer glued together. Nope. And that's where they split every time. Yep. This would be, if you let it go, eventually it's going to go all the way around. So why that is, look, look at the gap in there. Yeah. And that's where your pressure comes out, right there. This is number three on this car, okay? It's a terrible design. So these are about 30 bucks a piece. See on top of here? Let me, let me show you something here too. It's not like I bought aftermarket. That's right, F-O-R-D. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. It says Ford. So, it's not aftermarket. It's another one from Ford. Like I said, it's number three. So, we're going to fix this once and for all, I hope. So, that not being aftermarket, having said that, to fix Ford screw-up, we're going to go with aftermarket. This one is metal. I don't know why Ford didn't make the darn thing to metal, but this one is metal. Okay, and it has it has a uh, the, the ring right here. It's in, it's, I'm not fooling with it because it's in there. Actually, I, I do want to put some grease on it just to make sure that it seals up well. That's your seal to the engine. And this is bolted together here, here, and here, and here, and here. This goes all the way through, and so it holds this together. It's bolted down everywhere. And then these are also th like a through bolt so that you could put your screws down through it to get it down to the engine. This one actually came with uh, the sensor. This is, the other one, you can get them for about 30 bucks. These, not so much. This thing was right around 70. 
So they're not cheap, but you know, if you, if you don't want to have to in the middle of a trip somewhere, which happened to me when I went to Ocean City, the damn thing, the first one blew on me when we went to Ocean City for hot ride weekend. Um, we're just pulling in Ocean City. Luckily, we made it to Ocean City. Pulling into Ocean City, and I started smelling antifreeze. I'm like, it's got to be one of these older cars around here. Nope, it was me. As soon as we come to the stop sign, smoke everywhere. I'm like, damn it. So, we spent a day looking for the part. One friend said it was just the O ring. Well, no, it wasn't O ring. It was that case. And uh, so, I basically spent the whole weekend working on the car. Doesn't take long to do it, but first time in both away, you got to figure it out. So let's put this thing on. I just want some oil on there so it'll stick good. Let's just wipe it off a little bit. There's a little more oil than I want it. That'd be good. Just like that. Now I'm gonna get back in there. I have to care. I don't want to fall out while I'm trying to wrestle this in here because I may have to take the sensor out to get this in there. Okay, you know. <laughs> Did I not fight that damn plastic thing six ways to Sunday and this one here just falls in? Oh my lord. <laughs> All right, let's see, the rubber's there. Let's need to make sure that we get this one, this hose hooked up. Ah, come on, you. The hose hooked up. Now, I'll get my finger under there again. I want to make sure that rubber's still in there. Last thing you want to do is put this together without that rubber in there. Put it together without that rubber in there, and it's going to leak. And it goes right there. And it did fall out. Wonderful. All right. Of course, there's no room to get your hands down there. Surprise, surprise. And there, it's on now. I hope. <laughs> All right, now we're just gonna gotta put those three bolts back in here and tighten them down. While I'm sticking them in there, I figured it'd be a good time to mention that the plastic thermostat housing isn't just on a Mustang. Okay, they're on a whole lot of 4.0s. Um, I know the Explorers have them. Um, and they all have the same problem. Now, when you go to buy one, make sure that if you have a Mustang, that you get one for the Mustang. And the way you could tell it, like if you're on eBay or something, you know, I mean, uh, eBay, well, or Amazon, you, you can't really tell without looking at it closely. Just look at the pictures. The spout on the one for the Mustang comes out level to the top radiator hose. The one for the Explorer is angled up towards the radiator. And the reason is that the you have a lot more room under the hood of an Explorer than you do under the hood of a Mustang. And if you get the one for the Explorer for the Mustang, it won't fit because you won't be able to close the hood. So make sure that when you get it, you get the right one. And like I said, they're available in this metal one you really best off spending the money for the metal one because of the plastic one every one you put on is going to break it's going to come apart and that's going to what be exactly what the deal is you know what the heck is that? really come on you yep harbor freight crap falling apart already i'm had this long ah Seriously. Should have figured it would just destroy itself. This thing here is a Matco. It's about 100 years old. Funny thing, good tools work all the time. That might pull this off here. So 
I can get under it good. So I saw these bolts were obviously don't um um credible hulk them. Just need it. It's nice and snug. <clears throat> you don't want it coming apart either, but you know, still. Nice and snug and you're good. <laughs> and that is exactly why. I'm using quarter inch drive. If I had a three inch drive out here, I could easily snap a bolt. We don't want to snap no bolts. So, or crack a housing, just like that. Theoretically, I should do it. Yeah, pretty much all this to it. All right, we're going to pop this back over here. There we go, and that snapped in place, so that's there where it belongs. <sighs> Let me see something. This here, I want you, I want to bring it around. Totally. Come on now, cooperate. Want it to come around the hose so that it's over here where I can get to the darn thing. Right there. And squeeze that and push it down from the backside. There we go. And this time, Smarter Man prevailed. That hose is on there like that. And it's down where I can get to it so I can take it off the next time that I'm not supposed to ever have to replace this. Sweet queasy clamps will drive you nuts. Yep, that's the filler neck, so that's on now. That should be okay. And then we need this one right here. Now, I wish they'd make all of them like this where, see that clip together there. So you could just put it on there like that and you're good to go. This goes through here and where is it? Let's see how you do this here. You don't want to snap your fingers in it, that's for sure. I'm gonna move this here and just like that, it's on. That's the only one you make that way. Okay. What else has to plug in here? This plugs into that. I gotta clean that thing. <sighs> Look how dirty that is. That is really, really nasty. So, anyway, we're definitely gonna clean this up. All right, so I got that thing all cleaned up. Oh, it was really nasty. I mean, now it's nice and clean. And this thing here, which is a joke, but it puts my uh, cold air intake where I need it. So as long as it does that, I'm happy. All right, put that out. I'd like to put water in it, but I might actually have to run up to the store to get some water because I don't have any uh, antifreeze because I don't want to put water in it, that's for sure. So hopefully it's not leaking. I don't think it is. So this is a rubber seal here. So you don't need anything there. But I do need this gasket for the front of it. And I remember how this goes. So you look here and this one says, this says TB side, this is the throttle body. This is the throttle body. No, this is the throttle body. This is the plenum. This is the throttle body. So that goes, throttle body says it goes this way. So I'm gonna put this this way here and grab the throttle body. Move it this way here. Give me 
one of these. Make sure it goes through my gasket. And then through. And then through the plate. Take another one because I want to make sure that this gasket stays lined up. And we're going to do the top ones because they're the easiest ones to get to, obviously. See here. And I dropped that damn thing. Ah, oh, man. All right, take us out. I got everything wrong. This gasket goes. It goes like that. Ah, that's what's wrong. This goes like this, not the other way. So now it's going to go this way. Pop that up through there. And when you right there, hold that. Have another one. Make sure you get your washer. And we'll pop that one up through there. Make sure we get through the gasket, which is not happening. Come on, you. There, just like that. And I don't want to lose them. Both got already lost one. Got to go find where that sucker went. Down under there somewhere. All right. Now, we'll pop this back over here. And it's being difficult for some reason. Okay. Hi, Faye. All right, so this one's being a pain. Yep, that's got to go to the side a little bit. There. Got all about that. I think I've done that every time I put it back together. I was like, well, this would be a better way to put it on, and then I can't get the throttle body on. All right. Now it goes there. Get that bolt started. And then we'll get this bolt started. Fell here. There you are. Luckily it didn't go far. Got it. That one's gonna go right there. Don't you drop it again? Oh no! Get in there. Right there. Looks like I got it started already. Yeah, it did. Yep. All right. And again, don't grill or tighten these things. Just snug them. Why you want to use quarter inch you know small bolts like this quarter inch quarter inch drive i mean the trick is getting these stupid things plugged back in the way they came off there it goes ah yeah there we go that one's plugged in i'm gonna push that little red thing down so it stays i think that's everything hooks up here From here yeah, it's gonna plug in here like that you know, push that down so it's locked. And cold air intake. Let's find this here. Go here. And we get to back a little like that. And tighten this bad boy down. That'll hold that. ECV system. There. Come on, you. You gotta fight this one a little bit since it's broke. What? Well, just. Yep. Let's fight me. Of course it does. Yep. 
There we go. That shows who's boss. That mass airflow sensor to me. Like that right here. Come on, get on there. There, like that. Lock that one down. I'm gonna start it up and see if we got any leaks. I mean, it needs more coolant, but say I gotta run up the store and get some. Hopefully we're circulating some um oh now we just from the, the leftover coolant. Hopefully we're circulating here. Um I think we are. Alright, now let's see. Let's get this down in here. Like I say, it needs antifreeze, and I gotta fill it up, but I don't see any leaks. I think I can get to the parts store without it overheating. Probably enough. Alright, so we'll run up there and we'll fill it and we'll see what happens. Things are wet, but I think it's wet from just taking it apart. Alright, took her for a ride down in here we got a light I think down there looks nice and dry yep and that's good we got no leaks let's see and we seem to be right about the right level there so I think we're okay I got any freeze in it and we're ready to go so go ahead and spend the money get the metal one because then you should never have to worry about it again the plastic one every time you put one on You'll get a couple years out of it and it's gonna come apart. It's just the way it is. Like I say, this is the fourth one I put on here. So until next time, see ya. Ah, ah.